In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up a collaborative Wii video project. We're going to start by in the project section. We're going to create a new project. You can title it, whatever your teacher requires. We're going to select collaborative. This option means members can create, view, and edit any video from the project. So you guys are working in groups, but you're all going to work on the same video. We're going to select next. There's a couple different options you have. You can invite members by typing in their email address, their school email address, or you can invite them with a link that they click on from their email. We're going to take a look and we're going to select members and groups. We're going to click next. You're going to type in the email addresses of the students in your group. For example, there's the ID number. There's the student I want to join. I'm going to click his name and I'm going to select next. I'm going to finish setting up the project, click Next, Add Media Later, and go ahead and click Finish. So now I notice here in my members in my project, I have two people. I have me and I have Eric Brown. Now we're going to take a look at how do I add more members. Let's say I have three members in my group. I can add more members here in the same way. This time, right there select this student, add him to the project, and done. And now notice he shows up. It still says two, although we have three. Oftentimes, you're just going to have to simply refresh your page. And now I notice I have three group members all listed right here. So now we're going to talk about if I'm Eric Brown or Chris Williams, how do I access this video project to work on? So we're going to transition to the student mode. So here's Chris Brown. He's logged in. We're going to go ahead and click projects. And instead of my projects, the project that he's that he was joined into uh, is the, under shared with me. So go ahead and click shared with me. It'll populate a, a whole bunch of lists that's not related to you. You're going to click up here in the search option and you're going to search for the project that he just joined. This is the project that I that my partner just added me to. Notice it's a collaborative project. Go ahead and click, double click it, open it up. Now I'm in the project. I notice there's three members me, the person who created it, and the other student, Chris Williams. Once you guys are in the project, you're going to click Edits, a new video edit. This is where your project's going to be. Horizontal, blank, create. doesn't matter who creates it. You can all access it. So now I'm editing the video. Let's say that I'm Chris Brown, and now I opened up the video, and I'm editing it. Now let's go take a look at the other student. This is the GUHSD Tech student. What if I want to go in, again, again, you're going to have to refresh to load some of these items here. Okay, so let's put some media in. So I'm back in Chris. I'm a student. I'm adding media to this. Adding media to it. Let's go ahead and save this. Capturing a thumbnail. So now let's go back to the other student, the GOHST Tech student. Notice there's the video. Now watch what happens when I try to edit this. The timeline is already being worked on by Eric Brown. If you get this message, that means that this student is already working on it. You cannot work on it simultaneously. In other words, you guys can't both be doing it at the same time. The video is locked because Eric Brown's using it right now. So if I go back and I'm in Eric Brown mode, this is me, this is Eric Brown. So let's say that I'm done editing. I'm going to go ahead and exit out by clicking projects. Okay. Now let's say I'm the other student. I'm the GOHST tech student. If I go ahead and refresh, now that Chris Brown is no longer editing it, once I open it up, now I can edit it because Chris Brown's not editing it anymore.